Hello and welcome back to the unofficial guide to NDI. In this video, we're going to be talking about vMix. And vMix, I actually have an unofficial guide to vMix in this book series. vMix is a video production software for Windows computers. It's really become one of the most pro popular professional solutions for live video production. And NDI has become a big part of that. So we're going to take a look at NDI and vMix's implementation of NDI, which is really second to none. It's one of the best implementations of NDI available. So we'll go into more detail than what we learned in OBS. All right, let's jump into it. So first of all, um, I will just mention that we've already covered quite a lot of ground here. We've talked about what NDI is, the history, how to build a network, some of the bandwidth considerations that you should consider, all the free software and hard, and not hard, free hardware, but the hardware and software solutions for NDI. And now we're going to dig into vMix, which really makes, brings it all together, allows you to build a custom computer, which we'll show off today, and do some awesome vMix and NDI video production. So with that being said, what is vMix? Well, vMix is, a very is becoming kind of a standard. It's also very traditional in the sense that the software is set up to have a preview window on the left and an output window on the right. And below, you've got lots and lots of video sources that you might be using for a variety of reasons to set up a live video production. Now, we're actually using vMix right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what this production looks like that we're putting together right now. So I've got my wireless camera here, and I'm just going to peek behind Brian's shoulder here. We're going to show vMix off in a couple different ways, but how could be a better way? What could be a better way than just showing it off here um, set up? So just simple and easy. We're recording this video right now. We've got a preview monitor. We've got our output monitor. And we've got a variety of video sources. Now, if we hit the Add Input button, we can very easily select NDI. And vMix has done just such a good job of showing all the NDI sources, showing little preview images to go with it giving you the option for low bandwidth mode. And we're going to go into all of that. But I just, just wanted to give you a high level a look at what vMix is and how NDI is going to work with it. We're going to go into a lot of detail on this. So let me get back to my PowerPoint. Just wanted to give you guys a visual representation of vMix. And it doesn't hurt that we're using vMix right now to record this video. And, that, and vMix is really what we use in our live streams and our software. So just to give you an idea of how it works. Now, let's see here. Now, we looked at this briefly. When you add an input, vMix gives you quite a few options for NDI discovery. There's a little discovery wheel that will let you know that it's searching for NDI video sources and it's connected to the network. There's, in many cases, an image preview of the NDI source that you're going to connect to along with the channel name and the IP address. Um, each channel name is kind of considered a friendly name that you may have set up on your network. And then there's some additional options below for the individual input, such as low bandwidth mode, audio only mode, and increasing the buffer size. Now, there's a whole area in vMix for video outputs. So again, there's inputs and there's outputs. And vMix does a really great job of allowing you to have up to four additional video outputs and additional NDI outputs. So the four optional outputs, you can turn on and off for NDI on. You can see the little green NDI button there. When you click it, that output is on. Now, uh, generally, you know, the, there's a full screen output uh, that might be used for a monitor. You can select any source you'd like to output via NDI. If you just choose the default output, that is just the output of your production. Whatever you're mixing together, Whatever you're recording and you're streaming, that is what's being output via NDI. So you've got four dedicated NDI output channels already set up, but you can also select this really handy option to enable all cameras, calls, and audio inputs to be NDI. I use this quite a lot. Now, cameras would be any single input that's a camera into your production, make it available via NDI. And I'm pretty darn sure 
we have that option open. So if I open Studio Monitor right now, and when it pops up, I'm actually going to be able to see all of the sources inside of, of vMix. So this is the first source. This is the first, these are camera sources coming in via SDI into vMix. So they're all nested under the studio PC because inside of vMix, we have checked that we want all cameras to be enabled as NDI outputs. So while these cameras actually are NDI capable, um, we're actually using an SDI capture card and then using leveraging vMix to make them available as NDI sources. So very interesting. Uh, you can also see here, because that was checked, we also have the vMix output, uh, which is going to kind of fade a little bit. We also have all of the audio sources as well available. So pretty cool stuff. Just wanted to show that. Um, I've always very much enjoyed that vMix. Allows you to quickly and easily turn all cameras, audio inputs, and outputs into NDI outputs. Now let's talk about some of the use cases. Now, when you start to use NDI, you start to think, okay, well, maybe I can have another computer contribute video content into my production. Well, one popular scenario that we've used that you learned about in the previous video is having that second vMix computer sending video not only into the production, but also to multiple NDI studio monitors on the local area network. So you guys saw how the Stream Geeks do this, and we leverage vMix Social to bring comments from YouTube and Facebook and Twitter into our production over the local area network, and it's a really nice way to have multiple people working together on a single production. A really cool case study that I wrote about in the book and mentioned here is uh, Griswold Elementary School. They have a morning announcement show at their school. The first computer running vMix is the main production computer, and there's a student who is learning how to become a broadcast engineer who operates that computer. There's a second computer that is for PowerPoint slides, and these are actually the weatherman slides. And so the weatherman actually has this computer along with a Bluetooth adapter to just click along the, the slides as they're presenting. And that computer captures the video over NDI and sends it back into vMix. A third computer is actually used for graphics and titles. And there's another student that operates that. vMix has a very cool solution for remotely controlling it called the web controller over an IP address on your local area network. You can not only remotely control vMix, which we can show off in a moment here, but also edit the titles inside of vMix. So a third person is working on the production there. And then there's a fourth computer that actually receives the NDI output of vMix and sends it out to a public television station. So very cool um, scenario there. Uh, it's written in more detail in the book. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, just a small detail, is the weatherman slides come into vMix. The camera shooting the weatherman is actually a green screen and inside of vMix, the green screen video is chroma keyed, so the weatherman has his weather behind him. Cool stuff. Magic, right? All right, Brian, what we're going to do is we're going to show vMix. Um, before we go to the key takeaways here, we're going to show the screen capture that we have. And again, let's hit the add input button just to give everyone a good look at this. We're going to hit the NDI option. And I just want to go over a few of the details here underneath adding NDI. So of course, NDI is discovering all of the sources on the local area network. The, you can choose to connect in low bandwidth mode, audio mode, PSF, or increase buffer size. The low bandwidth mode is a great option if you're having bandwidth issues on your network. The audio only mode obviously allows you to bring in the audio without video. PSF um, stands for progressive segmented frame. And this is basically pro the progressive video format, like 29.97p or 1080p, 30 frames per second. Finally, the increased buffer size is ideal for scenarios where latency is not really an issue, and it actually helps to you know, smooth out the video over the network. So why don't we go ahead and just click uh, th this video source here, the 20x, and click OK. 
We're going to add it to our production. One of the things I want to show you is that if you right click that, you can hot swap NDI sources on the local area network. Um, vMix is one of the only solutions I know of that can do that. And one of the things I really like about that is, and let's stay there, Brian, if that's okay, and double click that input, um, is because then if, if you don't have the bandwidth to have a whole bunch of NDI sources connected at once, you can just kind of connect them almost like sockets. Now, if you go to the PTZ section here, one of the things you'll notice is that vMix already pulls the, the IP address. We just got to change the protocol to PTZ Optics because I know this is a PTZ Optics clamor. Click connect. And now you can zoom it and pan it and tilt it. So very easy to add NDI cameras into vMix. And let's try to leave that where we left it for our production. Um, but that's perfect. Okay. Now, if we go to, we we'll go ahead and close that. Now, let's go to the settings area just to show the, anyone who's new to VMX kind of where this is all out. In the output section, that's where all the NDI features are found. If you click the on button on the NDI off, turn that on when it turns green, that means you're outputting NDI audio. If you hit the cog next to that, there are some options for really some of the best in the industry options. You, you don't get these options in OBS for choosing the quality and different things that are attached to the output that's going via NDI. So I think that's about it. The key takeaways is, is that vMix really has become, over the years, one of the most popular live streaming software solutions available, but it is only for Windows. If you, as you know, if you've been watching the, this video series, you know that uh, vMix was one of the first software solutions to support NDI and today still remains one of the ro most robust integrations available. You can use vMix to create video NDI video outputs that include a variety of awesome solutions for data sources and video content and videos and virtual sets. It's very incredible. I highly recommend you pick up a free copy. I'll try to put it in the download links below unofficial guide to vMix so you can truly understand what this software can do. You can get a free trial, 60-day trial for free. Take a look. It's a really great piece of software. If you have any comments, questions, let me know. And we're going to move on in our unofficial guide to vMix video course. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's keep going.